WBBH, Fort Myers. This is Eyewitness News with Ken Nelson, sports with Chris Barnes, and weather with meteorologist Bill Zeeland. Good evening, everybody. Much of Southwest Florida is ignoring the 55-mile-an-hour speed limit. TV 20, WBBH, Fort Myers. This is Eyewitness News with Ken Nelson, sports with Chris Barnes, and weather with meteorologist Bill Zeeland. Good evening, everybody. The Sadat visit to the Mideast continues to reverberate tonight. This is TV 20, Eyewitness News. Good night, everybody. I good evening. Eyewitness News at noon is next on TV 20. From the news specialist throughout Southwest Florida, this is Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Sherry Avery. Welcome to Eyewitness News at noon. There's a lot of brainstorming going on right now. It's next on TV 20. Live from the Edison Mall, this is Eyewitness News at Noon with Sherry Avery and meteorologist Jim Clark. Good afternoon, I'm Sherry Avery. Welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon, coming to you live from the Edison Mall. Eyewitness News is next on TV20. Covering the events of today in your community and throughout Southwest Florida. This is Eyewitness News with the Eyewitness News team. Good evening from Eyewitness News. I'm Rod Green, and here's what's happening late. This is WBDH TV 20, Eyewitness News, Southwest Florida's news channel. So close to democracy, and now Haiti stands on the brink of political and economic turmoil. While here in Southwest Florida, an entire community watches and prays for the future. And now, TV20 Eyewitness News, with the most extensive coverage of news and weather. A journalist attacked. American troops sent home. the dice make a deal southwest florida's only gaming house is about to open if you only fly american be prepared to take off somewhere else and you'll take off in a b-17 bomber now bob austin leslie bowl john hammis with sports meteorologist tom rector from the TV20 Eyewitness News Network. This is TV20 Eyewitness News at 6. Tonight, spending money, not for necessities, but for pleasure. Gambling, an issue in the state legislature. Southwest Florida opens its arms as the season for heading south gets into full swing. The race for the White House is over, but will this man try to become Florida's governor again? And heavy rains leave behind lots to do for some folks in New York. We'll show you the cleanup. You're watching Southwest Florida's most watched television station. Coverage you can count on. This is News 2. You thought it was only a movie, but the terror of Pandora's clock could come true. Deadly viruses lurk in the air where we least expect them, and crowded airplanes may be the perfect breeding ground. More on that in just a bit, but... You're watching Channel 2, WBBH-TV. Coverage you can count on. This is News 2. You're watching News 2 at 6. With Bob Austin, Leslie Ball, meteorologist Jim Clark, and sports with Jay Severson coverage you can count on. Live, you're watching NBC2 with Kelly Burns, Craig Wolf, meteorologist Jim Clark, 
and sports with Jay Severson. NBC2 News at 6. In tonight's mind. Count on Southwest Florida's number one source for local news. Live, NBC2 News Today. Live, NBC2 News at 4. Here are your top stories at the bottom of the hour. Live, NBC2 News at 5. You could call it bad. Live, NBC2 News at 11. Good evening at this hour. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News Today. Good morning and thank you for waking up for a special edition of NBC2 News Today. During this half hour, we'll... Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 4. Here are your top stories now at the bottom of the hour. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 5. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 5.30. The news at 6 starts now. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 6. And let's get right to that breaking news. A suspected case of swine flu in Lee County tonight. We've learned... Right now on the news at 11, three counties, four deaths. NBC2 has the latest details surrounding the disturbing discovery. A former basketball player reveals intimate details about his relationship with Sarah Palin. Trying to look for jobs and can't find nothing. Down on his luck and desperate to find a job, one man takes his search on the road. The news at 11 starts now. Live, the news you count on. NBC2. News at 11. Developing tonight at 11 o'clock, NBC2 is tracking three puzzling death investigations in three. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News today. Topping the headlines at 6 o'clock, Secret Service under fire. The agency facing tough questions on Capitol Hill today as new details emerge about security breaches at the White House and the safety of the first family. Plus this. <laughs> An all-out brawl caught on camera. This video surfaced showing a group of teenage boys fighting inside South Ford Myers High. Why parents are mad about more than just the fight. And a possible case of Ebola in the U.S. A patient is being held in Texas this morning. What we know about that person's condition. Six o'clock, good morning. Happy Tuesday, Southwest Florida. I'm Clay Miller. And I'm Rachel Pierce. Live, the news you count on. NBC2, news at 11. On this Friday morning, hopes are high that the algae cleanup could start today in North Fort Myers. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at Noon. Good Friday afternoon, everyone. We begin with water quality in Lee County. Crews. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 4. Rain and storms back on the NBC2 First Alert Live Doppler radar here on this Thursday afternoon. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 5. The cleanup is underway tonight in Cape Coral. Damage estimates topping $6 million from Saturday night's devastating tornado. Live, the news you count on. NBC2. News at 6. A Cape Coral woman with a disturbing obsession makes hundreds of threatening phone calls to NASCAR legend Tony Stewart and his family. Good evening, I'm Kelly Burns. And I'm Peter Bush. Hurricane Irma moves closer to Florida. If we leave, you know, how long is it going to take us to get out? Mandatory evacuations for parts of Lee County as thousands try to ride out the storm. Uh, nothing anywhere. Um, none of the supermarkets have water. The NBC2 First Alert Hurricane Tracking Team is here with updated information to help keep you safe. 
We are bringing you a special edition of NBC2 News at 7 o'clock before the football game. A Thursday night much different than normal in Southwest Florida. The News at 11 is next. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 11. A suspected teen thief arrested for a string of break-ins in Lee County. Investigators say the 17-year-old was burglarizing cars in North Fort Myers. Good evening, I'm Lisa Spooner. And I'm Chad Oliver. The teen might have gotten away with it. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News Today. 5.59, you are waking up to a cool Tuesday morning. Thanks for watching us here at NBC2 News Today. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 11. Just the thought of, you know, the kids can't even be safe down at the end of the street. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at Noon. A man found electrocuted overnight. Right now at noon, NBC2 is uncovering more about this story. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 3. Now it's Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 4. Forget having a driver's license in your pocket. Soon the only thing you may need in Florida is your phone. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 5.30. I never worked for Russia. And you know that answer better than anybody. I never worked for Russia. Live, the news you count on. NBC2 News at 6. That's unimaginable. It's absolutely, as a parent. Um... Keep watching NBC2. You can always count on us.